what's going on guys uh, this is my first tutorial video and um, I'm gonna show you how to get this using Final Cut Pro first of all you will need your video that you're gonna work on and uh, so we're gonna drag that and drop it in our timeline this is the video we're gonna work on So first of all you find a place that you want the effect to show and then uh, what we're gonna do is we're gonna freeze that spot and um, how to freeze it you press shift and H to hold that image now you drag it a little bit to make it longer the next step will be finding our image we're gonna use and I got this on Google and uh, that's what we're gonna use to achieve this and since we're working on one on left arm and then one on right arm we're gonna need two images so first you drag on top of it and then you drag another one on top of the first one make sure they are all on the same on the same line this way you can give a little bit here. now the next step will be dropping our draw marks and you can find that under the effect uh, what you can also do is uh, you just click on all and go to the search space and type draw marks now we drop it on top of we drop it on the two images that we have over here and uh, now let's disable one image so we can work on the other one and you can do that by pressing v so now we have our first image to work on that's the top one and um, let me make this big so you can see clearly enough now uh, we we'll draw around the left arm to cut that side out And now we we'll go to the second image and then we'll enable that by pressing V again. And this time around we're gonna cut on the other um other triceps here. We do it by marking it around. And you don't have to be perfect with this, it's just getting a rough sketch around the triceps or the part that you'll be using. So now we have both uh triceps ready to be laid on our triceps so uh, first of all let's work on the top image and the next step will be using your transform to align it on your triceps so you click on transform and then you drag it so it can be exactly on your triceps and I will click on the second image and I will drag that to on the right arm yeah. so now this is what we have so far so now what we'll do is we'll click on this to make to get a full screen so we can work on it and know exactly what we're doing so you move your points under the draw mask to get it exactly on your triceps or on your body if i should put it that way and usually i like to make it big and later on work on the feather 
effect under the draw marks so that it will look kind of real on the skin. So now we'll go back and look at how it looks now. Yep. Now we'll go to the feather effect and then we'll work around it. And as you can see, usually I go for 15. So I go for negative 15. And drag the point a little bit. Now let's work on the second part. Yeah. And drop our feather to minus fifteen. And drag the point a little bit more. So now this is what we're having and you can still work around this this is just a tutorial so i'm not really gonna go deep and get it accurately so basically it's just gonna be like this so now what we do is uh we make a compound clip of the two images and uh, we click on the first one and then the second one and make a compound clip of it we can name this um, mask cover if i should put it that way so now we have our compound clip ready and the next step that i usually do is i drop a key effect and you can find that at a key so you click on keying and then we search for luma key we drag that and we drop it on our compound clip and now this is how it looks like so first of all you i go to the beginning of the compound clip and then make a keyframe on that under mask and then under luma and drag this sorry and then drag this to make it disappear and then i go 15 frames ahead of the compound clip and then i make another keyframe on that part and then this time around i drag this to reveal the mask over image and then the mix to zero so now this is what we'll get now it's looking clean it comes in smoothly so we do the same procedure towards the ending of the compound clip so we go 15 frames before the end of the compound clip and then we make a key frame there on both mix and then luma and then we go to the ending part of the compound clip and then we make another key frame and this time around we draw this back and then we we'll drag this back to one so now this is how it looks like it comes in smoothly and then it goes off smoothly so 
so now we have our mask over image smoothly done on our body and this is how it looks like and about the titles i got it from pixel films and it cost me something i know you guys don't really want to hear that but trust me i'm gonna be real with you guys it's really worth the amount that you pay for using these titles all you have to do is go deep into it and find so many ways to use it so far i've been using it in so many of my videos and this is what i really normally use you just drag drop on it go to this side drag it on where you want it to indicate and then you change the colors the text fonts and then the style and everything i'm not going to go deep into this want a video a tutorial video about how to use these titles just drop a comment below and let me know so i can make a video of it so now i'll just delete it so guys um this is how you get your anatomy uh, image over your body using the mask effect in final cut pro and i hope this tutorial really helps someone out there and uh, let me know your comments below what you think about this and if you want to see more tutorial video in the future on this channel and thank you so much guys for watching and god bless you stay safe peace see ya